truly a big day for Doug Kaufman, a great day for Know the Cause, a wonderful day for each and every one of you because a gentle man, if there's ever a man that put the gentle in gentle man, it is my guest today. Uh, Tullio Simoncini is a medical doctor. Further, he has his board certification in oncology. He is a cancer doctor, and yet he saw something terribly wrong with what was going on in oncology in Italy, and the word has spread. You guys, how many of you have emailed me? A hundred of you? Two hundred of you? Doug, do you believe this book that came out, Cancer is a Fungus? That's the book authored by my guest today, uh, Dr. Simoncini. Now, tell us a little bit about, you've been in many bodies. What do you look for as you navigate that camera through a person's body? If you enter in the body and uh, you reach an organ affected, affected by the cancer, you can see that uh, the lumps are always white. The lumps are white? Lumps are always white because if you, if you uh, uh, look at a CAT scan or an MRI, you, you see an indirect, indirect uh, Im image. So if you go directly with the a, a, a video camera, you can see that it, it is always white. Sometimes it is covered mm, with blood or with the, the, the defense reaction. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. in every, every post-mortem e examination, a scientist found, find the, the, the white um, lumps, the white masses, that is fungi. Oh, see, because yeast and fungi are white. Anybody take a mushroom, crush it up, it's a white mass. So as we uh, continue now today, we're going to show you, many of you have never seen this, so Dr. Simoncini is going to push a button and we're going to show you inside a body while he talks to us. Go ahead and, yes. and do that. Yes. This is uh, the pleura. We, enter, we entered with a, with a camera and look. The pleura should be red, but you can see all the lamps, all the cancer that is white. Mm. Really white. This is a heart beating. This is a bronchial cancer. Look, we, 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 went, we went into the bronchia. Look, with the bronchoscope, look, they mm. are white. Mm. White now. as usual. And then in the, in the colon cancer. Mm -hmm. This is red because there is a little bit blood. I washed it up. Okay, and now look, it's white. Now, now, look, 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 look. The, the, the density is different. So it's different, but it is always white under the, the first look. It's always white. And mm. look, after yeah. one day, after one day treat, treatment, okay. Look, 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 it looks like Thrush. Yes. On a tongue, which is yeast. This is the same illness, but here the, the, the fungus is on the surface. When yep. the fungus uh, enters in the body, in the, deep, in the depth of the body, it, uh, it becomes um, a lump, and the reaction, the, 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 the invasion, and the, the reaction make the, the cancer, the, the lump, the tumor. So we are doing an x-ray, an imaging of some kind, and it looks black. You know, it's a shadowing yes. on the, and so I always thought cancer was black. But this clearly demonstrates that it's not. Once a doctor sees that tissue, does a biopsy, is biopsy okay or does it hurt? Uh, biopsy sometimes bleed and bleed and bleed. Uh, biopsy is... Uh, 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 damages the tissues and favors cancer because, uh, uh, um, it, it, I, as, I, as I told you, damages the tissue. You can see the blood, uh, the bleeding. Yes. But uh, um, when, when doctors make the biopsy, they pick up just the outside part of the, of the, of the tumor. That is the reaction. They can see the fungi because they pick, just pick up the external part of the cancer. Of course, the prostate. So the, the, the histologic examination is a complete stupidity because it shows just the, rea the defense reaction. But we don't care to, 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 to know how the body uh, defends itself. We, 
we have to know what is inside the, the, the cancer. Is it, cancer it is, is like a solid abscess. Mm -hmm. So we have to see what is inside the abscess. Tumors, cancer, are formal descriptions. They don't say anything. Nor do the laboratory reports, because what they have determined, according to you, is what's on the sac. The heart, pericardium. Yes. You know, the prostate, a sac around the prostate. That's what they're measuring, yes. not what's inside, inside the prostate. Now, take a tumor, this patient that you showed us here. Your therapy is so magnificently simple, and apparently this is really working. You're talking about baking soda, sodium bicarbonate. Do you squirt with a syringe? Do you inject into the tissue with cancer? How do you do this? The, the, the problem is that um, sodium bicarbonate is the strongest uh, substance against uh, fun fungi. It is an antifungal drug, terrible antifungal drug. Mm -hmm. And uh, furthermore, uh, they can't, cannot adapt to, the, to a salt because not, it is not a complex substance. That's why the, the, the antifungal drug, today's antifungal drugs are ineffective mm -hmm. because the funga, fungi can adapt themselves in three, four days. They are not shared elements. They mm -hmm. are social element, they communicate, they mm -hmm. are connected by pores and they, they can adapt themselves because they are, have a big, big power yep. of adaptation because they are the masses. Imagine shared, shared uh, cells like uh, bacteria, you can poison them at once with uh, some penicillin, yep. but for a fungus you give an antifungal drug, you can you can kill the first layer, but the second layer, they, are, uh, uh, they get used and they eat yes. drugs, chemotherapy, everything. They, they resist. Are, oh. Totally resist. Do you know Dr. Costantini? Simon. Yeah. Uh, it, Dr. Costantini one time told me that a fungus cell, right? We're talking about fungus and cancer. A fungus cell has a cell wall and a nucleus. A human cell has a cell wall and a nucleus. He said, how is an antifungal drug going to kill this without killing this human cell? The perfect antifungal, as the good doctor says, will never be developed because to kill fungus perfectly is to kill human perfectly. While we're on that road, I wonder what cancer statistics really are. When I was writing my book, The Germ That Causes Cancer, I'm sure when Dr. Simoncini was writing his book, difficult to find statistics. Very difficult to see how effective chemotherapy was, how wonderful radiation is. In America, we have three options if you have cancer, surgery, chemo, and radiation. Two of the three cause cancer. Does that make sense to you? Or should we be looking in the right direction? We'll be right back. Oh, this is a banner day with a banner physician here. Tullio Simoncini is his name. You don't have to remember that name. Many of you have already bought his book. Do you believe the title, Cancer is a Fungus? Not, maybe cancer causes some fungus. Not, mm, in the next 10 years, we'll figure out what causes cancer. Cancer is a fungus. Dr. Simoncini is able to liberate the solid tumor, uh, which I can't do, folks. I'm not a physician. Uh, I could never, working with all of these poor people, at, with their doctors, I could never say, I have an idea. Why don't we liberate the lump? Why don't we get the lump? And sure enough, we retract. We go in. It's white. It's white. Yeast is white. So we get inside the tumor, and then let's do something that would change the pH very quickly. This is an acid-growing mass. Let's make it alkaline sodium bicarb. It's about 12 cents. Let's do that. There are different kinds of tumors, uh, doctor. One is a solid mass, one is blood that flows through the bloodstream. Uh, 